Hi guys, you're on VRM24.com and today we are going to assemble Realme GT Master Edition. First of all, we need to remove the card tray. For this, we use a special tool inserted into the hole and carefully push out the card tray. Then we need to heat the surface of the back cord to approximately 70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes, we can move on to detaching the back cover. To detach the back cover, we use a thin plastic film. This film can be from a new display or film from a stationary store. We carefully insert it into the gap between the back cover and the middle cover and gently run it along, cutting off the adhesive base. It is always necessary to be careful in the area of the cameras so as not to damage the lenses. Then we move on to removing the screws. For this we use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or a Phillips hash 3 It looks like all the screws are the same, but nevertheless we recommend that they are placed on a special surface in a specific order so that nothing gets mixed up when reassembling, just in case. So we unscrew the screws at the bottom, we leave one screw to hold the speaker assembly in place. And now we move on to detaching the middle cover. To detach the middle cover we use a thin plastic film inserted into the gap near the card tray hole. Detach a few clips and then use a thicker tool. We go along the edge, unclipping the clips. As always, we need to be careful on the corners because the cover holds especially tightly on the corners. Well, and we should also be careful in the area of the side buttons because the buttons are physically located there. So we carefully detach the middle cover in our case, the cover is still held in place by a small tape. And we remove the cover to the side. Then with a non-metallic tool, we disconnect the battery connector. And proceed to unscrew one screw that holds the speaker. For this, we also use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or Philips hash 3 And we can detach the cover. We remove the cover. As we can see on the cover, we have the vibration motor and the loudspeaker. Then we disconnect the connector of the coaxial cable. Disconnect the connector of the interboard cable. Disconnect the connector of the second interboard cable. Disconnect the connector to the display. We need to disconnect another coaxial cable connector and the fingerprint sensor connector. And then try to detach the subboard. As always, it is critical to find the right place where we can carefully hook, lift and remove the subboard. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone under the shield, headset jack port and other elements on the back side. So, our traditional test of the microphone hole. We take a tool carefully inserted into the microphone hole, but we can insert it because there is a protective mesh installed there. And the microphone hole is perpendicular to the microphone body, so it is almost impossible to damage the microphone in this way. And we move on to disconnecting the connectors on the motherboard, but first we detach the front camera. Then we detach the rear cameras. It is better to hold the cameras by the base so that they don't accidentally fly out and we don't damage the lenses. It is also better to hold the cameras so that we don't touch the lenses with our fingers. Then we disconnect the connectors on the motherboard. We disconnect the connector of the display cable, disconnect the second connector, disconnect the connector of the coaxial cable, disconnect the connector of the second coaxial cable 
and release the cable itself from the clips fixing it on the motherboard. And we can detach the motherboard. We also find the right place where we can gently pry and remove the motherboard. Finally, we move on to detaching the battery. As we can see, we have black coating and two black tabs. We need to unfold all of these things and pull the two long black tabs up. So we pull only one tab and as we can notice, the battery comes off quite easily. Under the battery we have a transparent coating protecting the interboard cables. So that is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, or read our articles on our website, take care of yourself, and until next video.